Content over everything. Alhamdulillah, min al Shaitan al Rajim. Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim. Alhamdulillah, 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 Ya Rabbi Alamin. All praise is due to Allah, Lord of the Worlds. All praise is due to Allah on this day. So I'm back again on another Sunday in this place, this famous place, notorious place where people gather to express their minds and their thoughts and their ideas and share it and exchange and debate and dialogue. This is the place where people from all walks of life gather. And you've got so many people here. And then you've got Winter Wonderland over there. So this is a very unique place. And Muslims come here in you know, order to spread the deen, invite the Tawheed, warn against shirk. Because there are mushrikeen here besides us. There are Muslims here. And this is our duty to invite people to invite mankind to his Tawheed, to Allah's worship. And to his worship and submission and his guidance. So I'm going to touch, I'll be talking about a number of things today, inshallah. Uh, we, we all know that we've got uh, Christmas coming up. And this is just a reminder that as Muslims, we, are, we disassociate ourselves from it because we don't part partake or participate in the celebrations and the festivities of the Mushrikeen. And this is well known. And the reality is Christmas doesn't have anything to do with Jesus. You know, Jesus wasn't born on December the 25th. And Jesus has not, Jesus and, and Jesus has nothing to do with Christmas. Its origin is pagan, paganism. It's what, it goes back to the time of the Romans when they, they tried to assimilate their pagan beliefs with Christianity. So a lot of things were added and, invent and introduced into this religion, this new religion of Christianity, not of Isa alayhi salam, Jesus, peace be upon him, Isa ibn Maryam, as the Quran refers to him as, Jesus, the, the son of Mary, who was upon Tawheed, he was a messenger, and, and the Messiah sent to Bani Israel to call them to worship Allah. Who had knowledge of the who, who knew the Torah and the Injil? So where did this come from? If you look deeper, Christmas goes back to the pagans. Has a pagan origin. Was Jesus really born on the twenty fifth? Was he really born in winter, or was he born in the springtime? Even going back, even going by your scriptures. So this is it. So Jesus, Isa ibn Maryam alayhi salam, he was one of the mighty messengers. Ulil azm min al-rusul. If you truly believe in, if you truly believe in Jesus and what he came for, you will also accept that he also prophesied that there will be another prophet to come. Another messenger will come after me. And he gave his description. But the Christians today, they dispute it, they try to refute it. But we know that the Prophet Muhammad has been mentioned in their book. Isa alayhi salam, the Messenger of Allah. And the Muslims, we are balanced. We don't go to the extreme of saying Isa alayhi salam is God. Or God in flesh or an incarnate of man or incarnate of God on earth we don't go to these extremes on these levels because if there were prophets before Jesus السلام, who called people to Tawheed and worship Almighty Allah as Allah mentioned in the Quran وَلَقَدْ بَعَثْنَا فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةِ الرَّسُولَ أَنْ يَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ وَاجْتَنِبُ الطَّاغُوتِ we did not send and we sent to every nation a messenger saying to the people worship Allah and abstain from Taghut. Worship Allah, Allah, Allah. 
So why was Jesus given this divinity? Where did this come from? Yes, he was able to perform miracles by the permission of Allah. To bring the dead back to life, to cure the leper, to cure the blind, to mold, uh, um, uh, uh, to mold mud into a human being, in, in, into, a, into a, a creature and then blow ruh by the permission of Allah. He was given these he was given these miracles by Allah's permission. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answered his dua as well. Another miracle of Jesus is that he spoke when he was an infant to confirm that I am the messenger of Allah. He spoke. This is not mentioned in the Bible. Another miracle of Jesus is he made dua asking Allah for a table full of food from the heavens. This is in the Quran. It's not in the Bible. It's not. This is not in the previous scriptures. So Isa alayhi salam is coming back. We know this, and he's going to be an evidence against you. Jesus, peace be upon him, the Messenger of Allah. And we know what. The, and and the, the Prophet Muhammad, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam, he told us what he will do. He will lead his ummah. He will he will fight battles. He will kill the Antichrist. He will be victorious. And there will be peace and, and justice throughout the world when he comes. He'll be one of the rulers of this Ummah. So this is the blessing. This is the, the fadl of Isa ibn Maryam. And we love him more than you. And, he's rep and he is dearer to us than you. But you go to the extremes of of Jesus saying he's divine, he's, he's, he's the son of God, etc. We don't say these things. God is one and only. He never begot a son, nor a daughter. He has no origin and no end, and he's everlasting, ever living. So that was that. I want to talk about something that's been happening recently this witch hunt in the park against brothers which is it's just pointless really I mean you got Steve and Raj over there talking about the same thing for months and weeks they're talking about brother Abu, Ka Abu Qasim who used to come here and film and keep to himself you found out that oh he was on trial uh, and he's got some charges okay he's been found guilty but why do you want to keep going on about the same thing for months and months? And it may be that because of your campaign, it may have influenced the judge as well. That could have been a reason why he was found guilty. And Allah knows best. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala free our brothers and sisters in the prisons. Everywhere. You didn't do yourself a favor. You didn't do yourself a favor at all. You've been targeting him for months, months on, every week, week in, week out. Oh, he's this, oh, he's that. This is ridiculous. So this part of my talk is support your brother, whether he's the oppressed or the oppressor. The Prophet Muhammad said it in Sahih Hadith. Al-Muslim, Akhul Muslim. A Muslim is a brother to another Muslim. Support your brother. Unsur akhakhu zalim or mazlum. Support your Muslim brother, whether he's the oppressed or the oppressor. And then you had some brothers who went and approached brother Abu Qasim to try to distance themselves from him. Why? Because of pressure. Because of what? What, what he was, his trial and his, uh, his uh, case is between him and the court. And it's got nothing to do with us here. It shouldn't affect us here. Because he was just filming like, like anyone else. Filming, capturing content. Whether or not he was allowed to do that, that's another thing. But he was just a cameraman. And then you have people on this witch hunt targeting him. Week in, week out. 
This is this is ridiculous. Honestly. And now you're rejoicing and you're over the moon. Oh, because he's been convicted. He's been found guilty. Okay. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala aid our brothers and our sisters again everywhere. But surely and definitely in the sight of Allah, he's innocent. He's innocent, inshallah. In the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Maybe guilty according to the law of the land. But definitely in the sight of Allah, he's innocent. And then you had brothers going up to him, telling him, oh, we don't want to have anything to do with you. If you're found guilty, if you're not, you're welcome, blah, 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 etc, etc. Look at how you just surrounded him. What happened? Are you doing the bidding of Ra Stephen Raj? Making it easy for them. You can't withstand. You can't, you, you, you can't deal with the pressure. SubhanAllah. Brother Adnan and Muhammad. And then you had uh, Hashim and, and Mansoor with you. The one who started this is Paul. And there's no doubt Paul is not a trustworthy individual. He's not trustworthy. He's not reliable. Week in, week out, he's been saying that I've been, I've been banned, I've been banned. Spreading rumors. I'm not banned. I'm not banned. And then he'll come to COE and say, oh, uh, why are you filming me? Why are you filming me? But he doesn't have a problem when COE films the far right individuals. And, those, and these uh, crusader type Christians that come to the park. And, and, and vent their hatred towards Islam and Muslims. He doesn't say I have a problem with that. He called me a violent extremist. What violence have I done in the, park, in the park? What violence have you seen me in the park done? I come here I'm a, by myself. I'm not, I'm not with anybody. From my home I come here by myself and I go back home. I stand on my own, I stand for what is the truth, what is haq, Islam, Islam is a way of life. So this is the situation, he's been talking nonsense online, here, oh Abdul Hakim, talking about Abdul Hakim, he's banned, Abdul Hakim, for your information, he's never been convicted of terrorism. So you can't give that label of terrorism, terrorist to him. And you want to attach labels to people without right. Like, who are you though? Who are you? Who are you in, in, in fact, Paul Williams? Who the hell are you? are you? Are you the authorities? Is this your job? What does it mean and matter to you? You're a despicable, disgusting individual. And every time you see me in the park, you start bringing out your, your phone to take photos of me. I don't want you to have my photos. Just keep away from me. You're disgusting. You're sick and you're sicko. You are the one, you are, there's no doubt that you are a hypocrite. And you've left the deen. And you've even said that. Oh, the reason, because, the reason why I left Islam is because the Muslims didn't support me. They said that I was wrong for confronting Abdul Hakim. Yes, you was wrong for confronting Abdul Hakim because Abdul Hakim didn't do anything. He, was, he came here on his one, giving dawah, and by the permission of Allah, he even guided some. he even brought someone to Islam. Someone that became Muslim by his dawah. And then you just had to just come with your camera and confront him, asking him questions. Like, what's it got to do with you? What is Abdul Hakim's history got to do with you in Speaker's Corner? He wasn't harming anybody. He wasn't in, involved in any violence. So what, so what is your issue? Why are you trying to make yourself relevant? Why, why are you trying to give yourself, make us, I mean, seek attention? This attention that you don't deserve and need. And now, and now the Muslims have distanced themselves from you. The cameramans have distanced themselves from you.
and the only COE is the only one that will give you airtime. Oh well, what do you think, innit? Why wouldn't people, you know, have doubts about you? And the only ones that really embrace you are, are, the, are the Salafis, so-called Salafis. Allahumma sta'an. You are the problem, you are the cause of this. And now you want to throw Abu, um, brothers Mansoor and Hashim under the bus. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Wa rahmatullah. I have a little message to a brother basically is not a brother anymore. No, because at the end of the day, yeah, Lakum Dinakum Waliyadeen. That means you got your own belief and we got our beliefs. If you became a Muslim, that was good for you because you choose the right path. But if you turn down and you go, I'm not a Muslim anymore. Do you have a choice, first of all? And when you have a choice, yeah, you need to stand for your choice till the end and not halfway. It doesn't, it doesn't matter if you are gay, if you are lesbian or whatever. A deen is a deen, you know? And what I hear, and I'm not from here, I come far away. I came here today to see all the brothers. And uh, one of the message I hear is about Mr. Paul. Mr. Paul, this is my message to you. If you're not satisfied with your choices, don't try to bring other people down. Exactly. And especially snitching, because I see it as a snitch. And you know what it says in our deen? Snitcher is worse than death. That means you can do whatever you want to do, yeah? But leave the people alone with their opinion. Because at the end of the day, everyone got his own choices and opinions it doesn't make you and doesn't give you the right yeah to talk about people behind their back whatever you are is your choice and at the end of the day yeah as a muslim as a lot of muslims brothers and if you know your islam yeah then you know you have to stand next to your brothers and not making them black or talk about them or whatever you want to do it's just very simple. You have to make a choice and stay by your choice. But if you can't make a choice, then you're like a chicken with no head. He doesn't know what to, what he wants and what he, he to do. My message to you, if you want to be a Muslim, be 100%. And if you don't want to, don't be. Because change your religion, one day you are a Muslim and one day you, you are not a Muslim. That's a big kufr. That's a big kufr. You know what I mean? This is a free country. Everyone got his opinion. Everyone can say whatever he wants to say. At the end of the day, we talk and we learn the lessons. If you want to learn the lessons, then you have to listen very carefully. And if you don't want to learn the lessons, then act like the chicken with no head. This is a short message. I hope you understand what I'm talking about. And I wish still for God to show you the right way. Inshallah. Nice to meet you, yeah, brother. Thank khair. you very much. Thanks, yeah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Jazakumullah khair from the brother. Yeah, and I hope Paul does listen and take heed. Because on more than one occasion you have left Islam. You know, how can you, how can you be trusted? How can anyone trust you? How can anyone trust you? You left the religion and came back and left the religion and came back. Are you confused? Are you only just pretending to be Muslim? And now you're trying to throw brothers, tarnish them, ascribe labels to them. And this is a lesson. If the Muslims don't st stand together, and, and be and, and be and, and remain steadfast each and every one is going to get tarnished they've tarnished me they've tarnished other brothers and those who don't have this label of extremism to them they're going to one way or the other people like Steve Raj and others are going to tarnish you they're going to try bring you down and this is History repeating itself. 
So no one's going to be spared here from this uh, witch hunt against the Duarts that come here. So I stand by myself. I stand on my own and I know that this path is not going to be an easy path. You're going to get slandered, you're going to get boycotted, you're going to lose friends, you're going to have enemies. Is this not what the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, went through and all the Prophets went through? Before he started his mission, he was Al Amin, the trustworthy. He was a Sadiq. And as soon as he assumed messengership, they started to label him Sahir, Kahin, magician, poet, dividing father from son, Sabi, a Sabian. These, all these labels were given to him. But in the end, his message, his message prevailed. That's what matters. His message prevailed. Ciao. He migrated to Medina. Then he, con then he conquered uh, Mecca. And after his death, Islam spread beyond Mecca and Medina. So this is a lesson for us. We have to be steadfast, we have to be firm, and we have to be patient. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ispiru wa sabiru wa rabitu wa taqullaha la'allakum tuflihun. Wa bashiri sabirin. And give glad tidings to those who are patient. فَصَبْرًا جَمِيلٌ وَاللَّهُ الْمُسْتَعَانُ عَلَى مَا تَسِفُونَ Patience, this is what we learn, to be steadfast, to, be, to endure, endure the hardship. No matter how much comes in your way. So, everyone else is going to get tarnished. They're not going to leave anybody alone. They're not going to leave anyone alone. Everyone will get it. We'll get stick, we'll get a bit of heat. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you patience. And these people need to leave Brother Abu Qasim alone. We wish you a Merry Christmas. They need to we leave him alone. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Christmas. And a Happy New Year. This is ridiculous. The tidings we bring to you and your Why are you coming to Hekku and disturb me? We wish you a Merry Christmas. And a happy okay. gonna happen I don't believe in Christmas. Year, I don't believe in Christmas. Is that his little jihadi bros are in prison. He will not go that way. We refuse to let it to happen. We will save Suleiman. He has goodness I, in him. Allah I believe it. Do you know how Allah I know? Me. Because when the Korean Allah woman was being me. abused, Suleiman saw her as a human being and not as a kuffar. So we know he has some goodness in him. We just need to bring that out. All and right, we will not let, let you, let me we're not going to let you be the bunkmate of Abu Qasim. Because uh, Abu Qasim gets fruity at night. And so we need to protect you. Uh, yeah, may Allah free him, man. <laughs> may Allah free Abu Qasim, my, our brother. Anyway. Okay. Yeah, yeah, may Allah free him. Inshallah. 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 You'll, vi you'll, vi you'll visit him, my <laughs> Inshallah. Anyway, so as I was saying, I lost my You've been now. in Belmarsh. I've been to Belmarsh. You've been before, to Belmarsh? Yeah. Who were you visiting in ah, Belmarsh? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Were you visiting or were you in prison? This is a distraction. Were you, were you, just out, you just said you've been to Belmarsh. Yeah, I've been to visit someone. Who? It doesn't matter. More than one? How many? Anyway, as I was saying. How many people have you visited in Belmarsh? As I was saying, um, yeah, all the dais are going to get targeted. No all the gonna, what are going to be targeted? Anyone's going to get. No, no one's going to get spared. So you need to be steadfast and firm, no one's and don't be and don't and don't, a bit and don't and don't and uh, don't um, uh, give in to the pressure. Don't decide to sell out your brother and confront him. What about your sister? So just be just be aware and be and be don't uh, sell equipped. out your brother and be equipped. Don't sell out your brother. I know I know your surroundings, and and uh, then do what? And, uh, and and be wary of Paul Paul Williams. Paul. And, and stand firm to Steve and Raj and his, uh, and his little crew. Because inshallah we will prevail over them. 
How are you going to prevail over it? Allah willing. How are you going to prevail because over Because in the it? end, you probably give up and surrender. So, all praise is due to Almighty Allah on this day. Another thing is going back to that video, there was no need for it. Which video? There was no need for it. Which video? For Adnan and the others going to Abu Qasim. There was no need because it's just pointless. Why was it pointless? To call out terrorists. What is the what is what is the what is the point? Why are, calling out are terrorists? You, are, you, are, you, are you doing his bidding? Calling out terrorists. Are you doing Steve's bidding? He wasn't even convicted it's at the time. My, it's not my bidding. He's doing it's, your bidding. It's the old Bailey's he's doing, bidding. He's doing his bidding. It's the judges. He's doing your bidding. bidding. Do you know it was a woman judge? You could she, have was, she wasn't English either. You could have taken him to the side and just uh, tell him, uh, you know, chopped his head off. This is what this is what we want you to do. But you can't be telling people not to come to the park. Like you're not authority. This is not acceptable. Who told him not to come to the park? It's in the same video. So you're not authority to tell anyone to tell, to come to the park because you don't own it. So everybody the queen is welcome. Owns it, doesn't she? Everybody's welcome. The queen owns this park. God bless her soul. May Allah guide her. Anyway, so this is it, man. We just have to be steadfast and firm and don't give in and stand and support our brothers or well, even if they're terrorists whether they are oppressed or the oppressors we should support our brothers right. so support the oppressor yeah the prophet said in hadith so this is the reality and uh, if you have a dispute with your brother a disagreement take him to the side and talk to him and then what? And, and, and you know when he, when he tells you where to go then what just please just leave it man and then it's up to, and then wherever it goes, just leave it in Allah's hands. Or if it goes so, nowhere. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, forgive me and forgive the sins of the Muslim Ummah and guide us all and help us all. And um, <laughs> if anyone talks about me and says that I'm banned and I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm no longer welcome, Please just verify. What, are you thinking, are you thinking of going away? Are you going to be going away for a bit? If, I, if anyone well, says that I'm banned... Terrorist. Wasn't it you with the terrorists oh, okay, in right. the video? You were with the terrorists. I don't know how they allowed the you guys to talk. You're a terrorist you though. You're a crusader. You're a crusader, isn't it? You're you a crusader. You were a terrorist. I'm not a crusader. You are, man. You are. You are. Warriors, you, you, we, don't, we don't use religion. You with faces as Muslims and Islam. Crusader. These are crusaders. Anyone Christian crusaders. That preaches terrorism no. in the United Kingdom. No, 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 and you're a terrorist. You're, you're a preacher. You're, you're a convicted terrorist. You're a terrorist. You know that guy's Muslim. You like you should be locked up. You're a terrorist, mate. You're a crusader. You should be locked up. You're a crusader. You're a crusader. You're a crusader. Crusade. Crusader like New Zealand. The New Zealand guy. You might be what the New Zealand guy did, isn't it? Crusader. You're a crusader, man. May Allah destroy you. I mean, may, may Allah destroy him. May Allah destroy you. That's an example of an enemy there, an enemy of Muslims. May Allah destroy him, a crusader. Every time he whips up hate against the Prophet Muhammad, against Islam. No, against terrorists. So, so may Allah no, subhanahu wa ta'ala punish him. And, and people like him, DCCI and other people, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will punish them eventually. If we don't see it now, it will happen in the future. Anyway, so may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, grant us all steadfastness and sincerity and uh, aid our brothers in the prisons, in the jails, everywhere. Why are they all in prison? Who have been locked up. Why have they been locked, locked up? up uh, unlawfully. Unlawfully locked up? Yeah, yeah. There's many people in, in prisons unlawfully like locked up. Like who? Innocent people. Like who? So may Allah free Which them. Which innocent people have been locked up? Come on, man. May Allah free them and assist them who? and aid them. Name them. It's not important now. So... Is Anjum back in jail yet? Haven't said that. Haven't Is Anjum back in jail yet? Ha haven't said that. Is Anjum Chowdhury no, back annoying, in jail yet? so annoying. Is he back in jail? I don't know. I you don't, don't know? know. Don't you know. lost contact with him? No one can contact him, I think. So. Nah. Anyway. We well, didn't stop. Didn't stop Kasim, did it? What do we didn't stop Kasim? Didn't stop Kasim using the internet against his bail conditions. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if he if he had that bail condition anyway. Well, if he, he did, did. If he, he did. did. He did. The judge read it out. So why? So what? Okay. Anyway. So. 
Yeah. Um, I don't understand why you're why you're supporting terrorists. Christmas, Christmas, convicted terrorists. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Remember, Christmas has got pagan origin, and ha it's not hallelujah, and it's nothing to do with Jesus. Because this is a pagan land, isn't it? Yeah. So we we, to do we with celebrate. Jesus. We celebrate the winter with, solstice. It's nothing to do with we Jesus eat, we eat, or what he stood for or called for. We eat, so, we drink, and we're merry because to celebrate the winter solstice, which is actually today. Rasulullah. Today is the winter solstice. Uh, Happy so winter solstice. This is uh, Speaker's Corner again. This unique place. I never, I never used to, I never used to come here before. But uh, I came here to support my brothers who invite people to Islam. I could, I could give you one or two. So, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, victory will be for Islam and the Muslims. You love the camera, don't you? Not really. You love the camera. Not always, not always. Happy Christmas. Season's greetings for 2019. What are you doing? Our Father who art in heaven, oh. hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us oh, from evil. For thine is the power, that the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. Happy Yuletide. Eat, drink and be merry. <laughs> Like, share, and subscribe. COE, top channel. Merry Christmas. Conscience and your good character has already told you that this is wrong. Then you 